Hi Dr. Suryal Gadwal welcomes you once again in tutorial classes video lecture on the behalf of Government Engineering College as in previous class we had discussed how to purify the municipal water or drinking water. So here in this class we are going to discuss how to sterilize that uh, purified water and what is it is necessary. As we discussed in previous class that the filter water is having a disease causing bacteria, virus uh, and all and uh, this uh, is not good for consumption point of view. So for uh, taking the municipal water and drinking purpose we must uh, kill uh, all the, the bacteria or disease causing pathogens. So for this, uh, municipal corporation is adopting few methods uh, which are good to disinfect the water or sterilize the water. The chemical used for this purpose are used as disinfectant. A good disinfectant and must be killed all the pathogens quickly at room temperature it should be inexpensive not be toxic and disinfection of water can be carried out by following ways the first is boiling of water second is by the use of bleaching powder method third is chlorination method four is clone amine process Fifth is ozonization process. Sixth is iodine method. Seventh is KMNO4 method. Eighth is chlorine dioxide, and uh, the tenth is ultraviolet light. So we here one by one we will discuss and uh, hoping that you will understood the concept of this infection very well. So, Let's take first the uh, boiling of water. As we know that uh, if you boil the water for 10 to 15 minutes it will disinfect but uh, for municipal corporation uh, adopting this process is not uh, viable because municipal corporation has to supply millions of liter water per day and for boiling millions of water per day need use uh, energy and a big uh, apparatus which is not uh, viable or feasible so this is only for a small scale or a house all purpose we can use this boiling of water process so next is bleaching powder method as we know that bleaching powder is the CO, CL2 but if we see the Constitute uh, of the bleaching bleaching powder are CaO, Cl2, not CaCl2, CaO, S2, S2. When and also this uh, CA bleaching powder contains 30% of chlorine. When this uh, bleaching powder react with water, it produces hypochlorous acid, uh, which is a powerful fungus. Uh, powerful disinfectant and liberating nascent oxygen that nascent oxygen is <coughs> nascent oxygen will destroy all the bacteria or microorganisms by oxidizing them and uh, it is not harmful for human beings uh, it is eliminated from the water as soon as it uh, yeah, because it also it's a very low lifetime. So one kg of bleaching powder is sufficient to sterilize a million liters of water. So what is happening when we are using bleaching powder? This is the formula of bleaching powder. CO CL2 react with water. It will make calcium hydroxide plus chlorine. This free chlorine will react with water and make HCl plus HOCl hypochlorous acid. This hypochlorous acid will again decompose and make HCl plus nascent oxygen. This 
nascent oxygen is a powerful oxidizing agent and it has a very less lifetime so it will destroy all the pathogens or bacteria present in the water and clean the water so the, this, the main disadvantage of this method is the, it's producing CaOH twice salts uh, which increase the hardness and pH of the water so next method is the chlorination method in this method chlorine is widely used for the treatment of water and uh, nowadays liquid or gases uh, form chlorine is available so liquid chlorine is preferred and it produce hypochlorous acid which is a powerful germicides and will kill all the uh, bacteria and microorganisms so first chlorine react with water at a pH range of 5 to 7 it will produce HOCl plus HCl this hypochlorous acid will kill again decompose and make as to uh, HCl plus nascent oxygen and that nascent oxygen will kill all the bacteria as we had discussed in the previous bleaching powder so if the pH of water is less than 5 then chlorine does not react with the water if the pH of water is less than 7 then chlorine will react with the water to give hypochlorous acid and if the pH of water is less than 10 in between 7 to 10 then HOCl dissociate to give us plus and OCl minus ion so the perfect uh, the perfect uh, range for the, uh, making nascent oxygen is 5 to 7 pH next chloramine process in this method ammonia and chlorine are added into water it produce mono and dichloroamine this chloramines will destroy all the bacteria so this is the amine this is the chlorine when they will react with each other they make this is the monochloramine this is the and again this ammonia react with two molecules of chlorine make this is the monochloroamine this is the dichloroamine so this uh, mono and dichloroamine will react with water and make HOCl this HOCl is a strong powerful germicides uh, which will destroy all the bacteria and microorganisms <coughs> Next method is the ozonolysis method. Because of ozone highly oxidation potential 2.076 then chlorine 13.6 it has a strong bacterial action than chlorine. Ozone is widely unstable and liberated in nascent oxygen uh, after breakdown so this is the ozone molecule which will break down into oxygen and nascent oxygen and this nascent oxygen as we know that is a powerful oxidizing gas and it will oxidize all the bacteria the disease causing microorganism and destroy them so this method is very expensive due to the ozone availabilities next is iodine method in this method organic iodine compounds are used for disinfection of water specifically for swimming pool water the iodophores saturated iodine solution is added in water and that will oxidize the germs and all and clean the swimming pool water next is potassium permanganate method as we know that KMnO4 is a strong oxidizing agent and used to disinfect it 
the water but uh, if water is less contaminated like in well and the sources are limited which is not like running water rain uh, this uh, rain water or river water or canal water then only it is effective if you add more KMNO4 then a pink color will develop in the water and some and then smell will also come so by viewing nobody will consume that water now chlorine dioxide method chlorine dioxide is highly unstable and used immediately after it uh, production clo2 has been found more disinfected than chlorine it's removed taste and orders present in water so what is happening this nclo2 plus chlorine to nacl plus clo2 so this is react with water and make this acid plus ozone both are strong disinfectant and they will destroy all the pathogens or uh, microorganisms or bacteria for example in the water this safe and secure method is ultraviolet light this is the latest method for the sterilization of drinking water and prefer over chemical method because here no harmful chemical or gas we are introducing only passing sunlight and the sunlight will used to destroy the bacteria and the wavelength of the sunlight is 2000 to 2915 angstrom so in the next class we will discuss uh, a very important topic break point chlorination hoping that today you had enjoy, understood all the topics and enjoy the class thank you